Hey all Russ here over here TV, welcome! Today is Tuesday, Tuesday morning, October 8th. It's well, not quite 8 o'clock in the morning. Got a couple errands to do. I'm going to show, oh yesterday we had a major fire here. And I got to film it. I'm going to show it to you. It was something else. Okay, going to make a left here on Main Street. So what a great live stream we had on Sunday. I'll have to do more of those once in a while. Pop one of them out. That was great. All over the world. Couldn't believe it. There was averaging over 300 people constantly watching live. I was just flabbergasted at the amount of people watching. And from where they were, from all over the country, all over the world. Thank you all for watching. And the plan is still on to go to Yuma tomorrow. I don't know. They're calling for a major wind event starting tomorrow, figures. But it's only going to last through, they said, Thursday morning. So if that happens, I won't go down until Thursday because it's no sense trying to film in the winds like that. All you see is a dust storm. So we'll wait and see. I'm going to check the weather a little later on today, but... The plan was originally to go in the morning, Wednesday, but we'll see. Okay, it's the intersection of Main Street and Central. Actually, tomorrow when we head to Yuma, we'd make a left there and go to start heading down. Yuma's about, I don't know, 80 miles from Quartzsite, somewhere around there. See a few vendors there on the right hand side. That's that high alley swap meet. A few vendors starting to go in there and see some tents going up. Crossing Tyson Wash. Look at the sun, early morning sun hitting the mountain. Isn't that nice? The colors. Okay, anyway, right up the road here is Pilot Truck Stop. And that's where the big fire was yesterday. phone started to explode and said hey do you see the smoke come film it so I jumped in the van and I couldn't get to it they had Main Street here blocked off so let me get up here to pilot we'll pull in I'll show you where it was and then uh, while I'm editing this video I will put yesterday's footage in there the drone footage that I took but it was something I hadn't seen anything like that ever they're lucky the fuel tanks didn't blow up here. You'll see it when you see the drone footage. Stay tuned here. Okay, here's Pilot. It's still closed. Look, it's all, uh, they got all their caution tape. They actually closed the station. You can't buy fuel right now. The other entrance up by McDonald's up here is open. So let's go up and pull in and I'll show you where the fire was. I've never seen this place empty. Look at it. It's always full. Nothing but trucks. But they got all their pumps taped off. Their tire shop looks open there. But it was back here. And it was a big one. I actually flew the drone from across the freeway over there on the other side. Over by Desert Gardens. Look at that thing. That's part of a windmill, it looks like. Like a blade to a windmill. Thing's huge. Okay, here it is. Check it out. This is where the fire was. I couldn't go down Main Street. They had it all blocked off, so I came over here on the other side of the freeway on Q and look at that thing. And apparently uh, a trucker 
was fueling his truck and turned his microwave on in the back in his sleeper cab to heat something up. The microwave shorted out. The truck went up in flames. The tanks. All their uh, fuel shutoff systems worked. But in some of the footage, you'll see this fire was right next to their fuel storage facility. <laughs> where they stored like 100,000 gallons, all different blends, like gasoline, diesel, everything. And Quartzsite Fire Department, man, they, they worked it. They had, they called in all hands on deck for this thing. Then uh, I was able, once the fire got out, I was able to get on the other side and I flew the drone over it. And you'll see the skeletons of the trucks the other truck next to him, he had, he he was just wrong place, wrong time. But it totally gutted these trucks. It did their uh, big canopy in. Their fuel systems damaged here. I mean, all kinds of stuff. It it was just incredible. I never seen nothing like it. They're lucky them fuel tanks didn't blow because they they were charred. Even though they shut off the fuel flow, uh, them tanks were charged, but it melted both cabs of the pickup trucks right to the ground. It took four massive tow trucks to get all the wreckage out of here. I seen them doing it last night, but it was too dark. I didn't film it when they were pulling everything out. And it was basically, they were just pulling it out in pieces. But it's under investigation, but yeah. No one got hurt, thank goodness. But if them tanks would have blown, half a quartzite would have been up at the space station because that was a ton of fuel in them tanks. Anyway, small town big news, huh? Then I posted all the footage up on uh, Facebook and Quartzite TV and RV or TV. It's been looked at quite a bit, shared all over the place. So, but I'm sure their like their stores inside, their restaurants will be open. They'll open this up quick. Pilot, they're a massive corporation. They probably gotta get all their fuel lines tested and everything before they can uh, start pumping. But this truck stop here, this and Love's over on the other side of the highway, uh, they are, uh, trucks come here forever. I mean, they are just lined up. And so is the cars. The fuel here is pretty cheap. Hey, Quartzite Chamber. Remember Rain? Right there, that building. There's Hardy's. Nothing's open yet. It's still early. Look at the flags flying. That restaurant there on the left, they open. You see the flags? Flags flying. Businesses are opening. Anyway, it's still early. Let's go out and uh, get a picture of uh, Dome Rock. Catch it with the morning sun. In fact, yesterday I got to meet some really nice people from Seattle, Steve and Kathy. They were just starting their RV, RV journey. I was going to say RV or T. Their RV journey. They got them a little Class C down in Quartzsite for a few days. They said they are staying out here at uh, Dome Rock. They said campers are out here, so let's go check it out. But Dome Rock this time of morning is really a cool picture. Go launch a drone real quick get a shot of it see there's loves now all the trucks are over here at loves so that's a big deal that's a lot of money they're losing there at pilot okay this is dome rock road we're heading west that old car dealer here on the left he's moving they're moving their operation over by the Quartzsite Airport. They're hauling out all them old cars. Also up here, RV Lifestyles, a dealer. 
that place is up for sale if you want to buy it it's only 3.5 million you can own your dealership right here in quartzite and also i seen in the paper too the super 8 here is for sale if you want to buy a motel there you go i think it was like a million bucks i don't know you can google it go to uh uh, as one of the realtors had all that listing. Everything's always for sale on Quartzite. I always like coming out here. It's still a little early yet, but this is where you look for gold. All on the right hand side of the road, all the way up for a few miles, it's all claimed. The gold claims and uh, Miners Depot, the gold club owns quite a few of the claims here. I think it's like 400 acres they got of claims out here that you, for 15 bucks you can join the club for a year. There's a motor home. Yeah, there's a couple rigs out here. Huh? Cool. I see dome rock up there, but see the early morning sun, how it hits the mountains? Look at the colors. Just perfect. Perfect morning for the winds pick up too. This looks about as good as any. Launch a drone. Find a place to pull off. All right, drone time. Up we go. Yeah, ain't no traffic out here either. I've seen one car so far. Up we go there. There's Dome Rock straight ahead. I see a few white dots up there. Those are trailers. See over on this side, that's all gold claim. That's all, see the washes? But this year they didn't get the monsoonal rain, so there wasn't much flooding here. And they count on that to stir up the soil for the gold. There's Dome Rock. A couple months, this place will be packed. You'll see a thousand RVs out here. Not much now. Swing back around. And that's looking right back at Quartzite. That's where we just came in. And there's Interstate 10. Always busy road. So, there's your Tuesday morning look. See, now on the other side over there, on the other side of the freeway, that's claimed too. The Gold Club has some claims and there's private mines. So there's definitely a lot of gold to find here. All right, let me get landed. Just do a U-turn right here. Down description, there's all kinds of ways to support the channel. Buy a cup of coffee, click on a link, shop on Amazon, get a t-shirt or coffee mug. It all helps my channel, RVR TV, grow. And thank you for all that have done it already. Okay, I'm going to go back, get this edited. And then kind of keep eye on the weather. Once again, I was planning on leaving in the morning for you, Mom. If the weather's not cooperating, we'll reschedule it for Thursday. Just one day. We'll see.
Okay. Talk soon.